at kasama pa rin po natin ang presidente po ng CCP or the Cultural Center of the Philippines si Mr. Ness Hardin. Yes, Na, the most good looking too. Yeah, Let's I know, I know that. I was going to say. Yeah. So pwede na tayo sumaya after. I know you have something. Maybe I can just go with you to your uh, to your event. Uh, no, he will have like ba? three more events. Wala dinner lang. Ah, dinner. Oh, pwede na naman ako kumain. Birthday dinner. <laughs> okay, so we have some soap and uh, hot chocolate for you, Ness, from wow. Classic Herbs Corporation. Thank you oh, to nice. Tita Lillian, Tita Cora, Jay, and John. Nice. And of course, thank you to... Thank you. Francis Malikan Chow, thank you for the RM dried mangoes and margarines. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank SM for our clothes on the show. Yes, SM, uh, we've got it all for you and they've got it all for us. Definitely. Thank you also to Tony and Guy. Thank you to Cherry and TJ. Thank you to Tere and TJ. Tender, juicy, tasty. Just tender, <laughs> too delicious. <laughs> and thank you also to Mert Bessa of Bessas. And thank you to Dr. Levy and Dr. Anna Lansangan of Shimmy and Manila. Thank you, Beverly Hills 6750. Okay, and thank you to Ness for coming over. Yes. Okay, what is that uh, over there? Well, I'm, I'm launching a book of a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. It's called Between Tiger and Dragon. Ooh. Why so, the title Between Tiger and Dragon? Well, Dragon represents um, China. Right. Yes. And Tiger represents um, Taiwan. Ah. So the book is uh, the history of Philippine relations. With, uh, with China and Taiwan, focusing on um, economic, political, uh, social, and cultural. Mm -hmm. And uh, when is the book launch of this? This is on June 17 at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I invite them. At the Cultural Center of the Philippines, and I hope um, those of you who are watching can, can come to CCP. The author of this uh, book is a Frenchman. Yes. His name is Claude Haberer. Yes, a Haberer. He is the president, uh, he's the CEO of the BNP Paribas Private Bank for North Asia, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, and the Philippines. But among others, he's a scholar of Chinese uh, history and, and art and culture. And um, he is also a major supporter of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Through his bank, um, they have supported many of our fundraising events uh, during the last five years. So Mr. This must have been Habener. hard for him though to talk about China and Taiwan when most of the people don't really converse in English and then having to write a book about it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Claude, as, as uh, we call him, is very proficient in Mandarin. Oh, there you go. He speaks and writes Mandarin. Wow, and good writes. for him and he's French. And writes. And, um, you can't tell that he's French when he speaks uh, Mandarin. Does he because know Because he's French? traveled all over China. He's lived in Taiwan. He's oh. lived for a long time in Hong Kong. He's lived in Paris. He comes to Manila quite regularly. Right. So yes. when he did his uh, master's thesis, he did uh, this topic. Oh, okay. interesting. Imagine. And I encouraged him to write it, uh, translate it into a book. Mm -hmm. Oh, so originally it was just for his thesis. Yeah. So right. how long did that take him to do? To write, probably a, a, a year, mm -hmm. but it took us a long time to get it published, uh, more than three years, but wow. now at least we're, we're launching yes. it. Yes, congratulations. With, thanks and, uh, to Anvil Publishing. Yes, thank you thanks to Anvil. Anvil. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, no, because it's great for um, a French man to write about Asian civilization. Especially a French man who's been supporting the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's give a little back help back to the guy so again july 17 at the ccp at the launch of between tiger, tiger and, dragon. and dragon and this will be at what time six o'clock six o'clock p.m and there are a lot of other things happening at the ccp for the month of july the indie month right yes um this july we have uh four festivals mm -hmm. wow uh one is called word word jam, word jam. Mm -hmm. which is a literary arts festival where young poets uh, short story writers, uh, fiction, non-fiction writers yes. can submit come together, submit their entries, and uh, this is a festival of uh, spoken word, so mm -hmm. there will be poetry readings, there will right. be 
renderings in music and dance. So yes, it's yes. a mixture of literary arts and performing arts happening inside the CCP and outside on the grounds. Is there uh -huh. any date for in, that? In the, in the garden, in front? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's uh, happening uh, beginning uh, next week. Mm -hmm. I think the first one is July 16. July 16, yes. right? Right through uh, the first week of uh, August. No, I'm sorry, June, June, June 16 to the first, week, first of week, July. week of July. July. Right. Because it's spread out. The other festival that we're having is called Wi Fi Body Festival, mm -hmm. which is a contemporary dance festival involving all the contemporary groups in, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Most of them, anyway, are participating. And then the third one is called Virgin Lab Fest, mm -hmm. which is a dramatic arts festival where young uh, script writers, young directors, uh, young playwrights, and young actors can put uh, mount Works. their. We'll have the chance to mount their productions, wow. their new plays at the CCP. Mm -hmm. Wow! And how, how do you choose who gets to mount their plays, or everyone does? Uh, we right? have a committee that that chooses the submitted scripts. Okay. And many of them are already being rehearsed now. Yeah. No age limit. No age limit. Right. Like uh, a contemporary of mine, Ed Navida, who is a choreographer, yes. is He's now directing a play. Oh. Uh, I forgot the title of the play, but it's a play that she is being acted by major stars. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like Bembo Rojo is uh -huh. in her. Oh, we had Bembo on, yes, on the show. Yeah. So, so the fourth, you, you also have the a fourth, fourth is Cinemalaya. A Cinemalaya. Which is uh, an independent uh, film festival which will run from July 17 to 26. Okay. Now on its fifth year. Do you know if the film that won in the Cannes Film Festival, is it going to show in CCP? Because um, they were already saying it may not be passed in the MTRCB. So I just want to know if it's showing in Cinemalaya no. so I can watch it there. Unfortunately, we were trying to, to invite it to be uh, one of the featured films in Cinemalaya. Yes. But uh, the film is still in, in France. Uh -huh. That's what uh, Dante Mendoza yes. told us. Yes, congratulations to Dante Mendoza. Yeah, congratulations. he did us proud. And uh, it won't make it to Cinemalaya time. Oh. in time because they're doing some post-prod or, or mm -hmm. things. Because That's the so producer bad. is French. I see. So, but although uh, the MTRCB the uh, thing is not going to be an issue because by You're law, exempt. the CCP yeah. is exempt yes. from uh, but MTRCB. Yes. Which is why we were hoping to catch it there. Yeah, but once <laughs> they bring out any film from Cinemalaya, they have to go to MTRs. Okay, through the so MTRs. Maybe after, but will they be able to show it in CCP after after the film fest or no more? Um, Unless they just have a special screening. Special screening, seguro. Mm -hmm. Well, I will let you know if it's there. So yeah, we can I catch know it. because yeah. I really want to see it. I mean, I've heard about it, and I met him in the French uh, film fest opening. Right. When we right. went. But and another thing that a lot of people are asking for is their rubies. They're wondering, I know it's really expensive. There's a clamor to bring yes, it back. What are your know. thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, I was trying to, I was trying to, but uh, we were not successful in getting sponsors. You to mean 500 it uh, Because we need uh, 2.3 million to, right. to remount it. And there are other events in September that needed funding also. Mm -hmm. So right. they can just buy the DVD. Buy the DVD. I think that's a good suggestion. <laughs> yes, we we'll do the, a professional yes, production. Buy the DVD, but it's different when you're there it's and when different. you see it. I mean, like my hair was standing. I, I felt proud seeing our Filipino oh, artists. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they were so good. I was and really seeing proud. the Filipinos appreciate the Filipino artists. Yeah. You know then. That and it's like amazing. that night, you know, everybody was proud to be Filipino. To be a Filipino. Yeah. I mean, aside yeah. from wow. other nights, of course, but yeah. that night, it was a beautiful night. Everybody, I mean, I was just in awe. And, and thank you for inviting me, Cutie. Well, thank you for the tickets. <laughs> yeah. well, I hope Back both to of you. you, of course, both of you will be there for our September events, no? Yes, yes. Okay, so Ness has been the CCP president for eight years. Now, unfortunately for us board members, he is going to be um, ending my term. What? Ending what? his term. Really? Yeah, because it's a four-year term. Oh, okay. July 26. This is your fourth 
year. My eighth year. Oh, yeah, eighth eighth year. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. I mean, yeah, this is term. so it's yeah, your second term. And yeah, can and I just tell you, you the cannot... board members now are, they, we don't know what to do <laughs> because nobody can fill his shoes. It's just no, with no, everything. Come Wait, can't on, you no, run no. again? Can't they just uh, vote, appoint him again? <laughs> No, I don't think it will be good for the CCP because it might set a bad precedent for the CCP in the future. But and it will probably be not good for me, as I told the board, because... Because we were I begging, so... I don't like to... people to think that I'm holding on to a position. But it's but not it's him. My term is finished. Okay, so. yeah, your, Actually, your term it's is... Actually, it's not him. It's, it's everyone who wants him to stay. Okay, but if your term is finished, you can't have a third term? No. Because the bylaws of the <laughs> CCP uh, specifically mentions that uh, you're only allowed two terms. Lang lang two, Not, two okay. terms. Yeah. Now, just in case um, there is nobody who can fill your shoes, can that be <laughs> reason enough? Yes? For, yeah. I don't know uh, what what the board can do as far as the bylaws are concerned. No, I think um, if the president of the Philippines, who is the uh, one appointing the next CCP president uh, does not appoint someone in time, then the board can appoint an officer in charge, which could be probably me in a mm -hmm, holdover mm -hmm. capacity because I cannot naman abandon my post so maybe if there's no replacement. Or the board might want to choose somebody else. No, because the board's not yeah. choosing so anyone maybe, else. So maybe the board members can just uh, write a resolution. See, the, the thing is, um, they're all hoping that he gets an extension. At least, at least to be like co-terminus with the president. Yeah. You know. So one more position, year. Yeah. So, so let's just say you get your way and you're free of um, CCP obligations. What's the f by very soon? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Well, I'm going to go on vacation for a month. Because I've never had a vacation. All his vacations eight are years. work, are yeah. work related. Or He's always years. traveling mm -hmm. everywhere, like, like one day here, one day here, and it's all work, mm -hmm. like three days. It's very here. difficult, you know. Uh, the last time I went to Bangkok, mm -hmm. uh, I left the, I left Manila noon time. Uh, I, um, I think I arrived in Bangkok at three o'clock. No, I left before noon. I arrived in Bangkok at. At I think 2 o'clock, had my meeting from 3 to 6.30 or 7. And, and then, then the following morning, I had to check out of the hotel by 10 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning to catch my plane back to Manila. My God. Oh. When do you it's sleep? It's like I, I, I'm going to Cebu, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, her schedule is also like that. But when do you sleep? And, and how many hours of sleep do you get on an average night? I mean, um, you, you I'm don't okay sleep. I'm okay with six hours. You're okay with six hours. Has it always been that way? No, but lately, I think as we, we grow older, we need less sleep. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Because, no, I sleep <laughs> still 10, doing eight I, hours. I, no, no, I sleep 10 hours and I'm oh, still nice. waiting. Well, I maybe you. now, maybe nine, nine, nine and a half. Oh, but nice. I'm still waiting for it to be less, to become eight. So I want to know, was there ever um, a time like you had uh, an experience with a difficult uh, dancer, like in your experience? in your all your eight years i can't specifically mention uh, you mean as president yes oh no Was there? not really oh good you know i've he's been so, lucky so because I, did, and he's so I i i think my advantage is i was a, a dancer. previous dancer yes. so he can an relate. artist mm -hmm. so i could easily relate to performers whether okay. they're musicians or yeah. dancers because right and and I know when they're you can just empathize and yeah. throwing tantrums, or I know when their uh -huh. concern is really serious, and that's yes. when I really go my, all, all the way to to help them. Yes, and I think they appreciate that. Yeah, so do you believe there's such a thing as artist temper? Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. Do you have no, one? I don't. No, you don't. Really he really looks so cool. He is like calm. Sometimes he doesn't, he doesn't know how to cool. get mad. Really? Sometimes yeah. You should go out with our, us more often. <laughs> No, but but I, I, I think um, they realize, the artists realize that they know, that I know when they are just throwing tantrums yeah. right. or, or, or having, having an attitude right. mm -hmm. or yes. it's an ego problem. Parang alam nila. 
So, so, so they, they can't really they act can't too really much. They can't really act too much. What because would you, you say know, is the best or your biggest accomplishment as a CCP president? I think number one is to motivate the CCP officers and staff mm -hmm. to do what they've done for CCP during the last eight years. Um, the accomplishments of the CCP are not really mine. They're of the music division, the literary arts division, the film. Kasi sila naman talaga yung gumagawa. I just give them ideas. I motivate them. But yung success, kanila talaga. Okay. So, uh, to be able to motivate them, I think, is, is something that Good I'm enough. proud of. Uh, I don't claim to be the one to have accomplished uh, all of these programs. Okay. But the single, like, favorite moment of your being a president? In the eight years, I felt proud during Rubies because yes, I, 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 I so. really felt emotional about the show that featured artists and numbers, right. dance, musical numbers yes. that, that saw me through CCP. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew the era that this piece was created and presented. It brought nostalgia and pride. And uh, I was really touched when the audience felt that too. Mm -hmm. can, where can I buy a copy of that? I can just go to the CCP and get... We're not really selling it, but I can give you a copy. Oh, thank you very much.